And here we go. The, I'm not going to say it. This is from the Helmeted Hornbill. And I'm hoping that they get this guy around my birthday. So he has the stripes on his feathers, the white stripes, the brown toe claws, the black, and the tip is white there. Blue eye. This is one of the ones of the last page. Last page of the image. So this is like the last one that you would see from when the franchise. But this is the fan's choice. This is the number one, I think. It's either one or four. It's the fourth one. Because the drummies were one, two, three, four. And I have two and three. I'm hoping to get him. And I was going to get this guy. But then I realized I wanted the alpha better. So he is going to come in a birthday or Christmas. So that's neat. So you yeah, helmeted hornbill. This is not, I wasn't really happy this one because it wasn't as dark colored. It looks like it's rainbow, like they lend her but it's so cool. Has the spots and the blue and the roadrunner thing. He's a greater roadrunner. He's not just he's a greater. <laughs> has the blue on his tail, has all that stuff. Like Stony. And my favorite, Pyraptor is the very thrush. And again, well, actually, it has a little bit of match there. I even did the little curve, like it shows on that guy. And the feathers are beautiful. I, I don't know why, but I put like anime eyes in them for some reason. But he has that stripe that is probably on the other side of him. But um, as far as the pictures of the product is concerned there's a little gray stripe there and here so i liked how this guy was like um like sparkly on the back of his legs and inside of it so that was pretty neat so this one's my favorite drawing and my favorite well second favorite american kestrel i think is how you pronounce it and there he is he has a little looks like he's like crying or whatever but he's not he has spots and all that, stripes, and the feathers are a little bit off because I added a marker in there because it wasn't. And, um, yeah, black hand claws. So there you have it. Here's the comparison of the fan's choice and the original. Salvini. Like, they're the same dinosaur, but they evolved the last name. So Langstone is actually the real last name, but... Back then, it used to be Solvany. So, Sol, Solivani, I don't know. And I also put the inspirations on there, so, yep. So, we have these two, the Pyroraptors, which are pretty cool. It was pretty hard to do the same one again. So, here. Yeah, that, this part explains a lot. <laughs> and, yep, there's the two of these guys, the Zoongalongs. And I accidentally switched these. <laughs> My bad. So we have the original and the fan's choice. Now I'm thinking this would be the female and the male and female, male, whatever. Just because of the color. Like the one that's the most brightest could be the males. I'm not sure. Here we go with the accessories. We have the Monty Kiss. And he's an Australian emu. So yeah, we have the Protoceratops skull. A rock piece, and there he is. Very cool. He doesn't have teeth from what I know. Next, the Microraptor, Great Tailed Grackle. That's what he was called. I it ha I knew it was like a crow like bird. But yeah, he has the tree, has the log that he sits on, as you probably know from the product if you have him. He has the beak, his gray beak, and very cool looking. He's Blue, dark dark blue, indigo, and black. I also put the page numbers on there too. I don't think I did it with the other one though. Whoops. So I'm 99.9% done with that. The Butraptor is one of, is my favorite one. African ja Jacana. And I even added the splash, as you can see. I had the little splash in there, as you probably know from the product that they come with a little clear little splash that's supposed to go in that little leg area 
So, there he is. Very obvious to tell that he's a Jekai, as you probably know. And, yep, there he is. He's, definitely my he's the only one I know of that has his mouth closed. And the one that I have, the Troodon, is the Snowy Owl. So, that's pretty cool. So, he has the tail, like, there. Has all that. And the tree, that was pretty impossible to build, but I got done with. The rock... Is that? I don't know why it's slender like that, but whatever. And we have the tree again, and the same thing, same pretty much wording. Create a beast, and the roadrunner. This is pretty neat. And finally, book three has the. It's hard to read. But exclusive raptors, eastern and western, and the nestling. So all you're gonna see is just drawings, except for the first two pages. Table of contents, which I forgot to do. That's why some of these don't have it, but I'm going to add the page numbers. So we have Alpha Raptor. I even add that little circle thing to them. Alright. Finally has feathers this time. Exclusive. We have the Red, Her Roadrunner, Black, and Alpha. I just realized this is the only non-Raptor. The the run runner one. Nestlings, the colors of them, which are the amber, gray, black. The white nestlings were not added. This is actually new. So, because in the Raptor Series gallery, the white nestlings are not mentioned because they are new from 2019, I think. But these three have been around for a while. This is new. So, anyway, Eastern and Western Pack, the. Stanotosaurus is the replacement of the Troodon. But the Stanotosaurus is actually a big dinosaur. So they add as a young, like the dinosaur later return to a young youth. So there you go. Here we go with the exclusive. So again, this is the first release. Because as you can tell by the feathers. At least I think it is. So. For this one. I didn't know the color inspiration, so I just put the red version of blue, of the blue Moskali. So, if you know the color inspiration of this dinosaur, let me know in the comments. I'm still trying to figure out right now. He has a green eye, or blue, I don't remember. Has that black thing on his neck that... I don't know, he's a red... Maybe he's a red scrub jay, I don't know. Whatever it's called. And... Sword of the Least Seas is one of my favorites, and the Cartoon Roadrunner from Looney Tunes or whatever. So, there he is. He has the beak and the little dash on his streak on, on his eye. Has the night, neat little pose, running pose. It would be cool if he had the, like, a dinosaur version of the coyote. <laughs> Has the black on his feathers, and same pattern as the length stony as you can tell by those spots on them that's what was added in the previous one the black one it, this is crayon by the way so that's that guy right there he's a juvenile lamborghini which i thought was pretty neat i had a feeling because in the ceratops series they have a sub-adult triceratops which made me think that this would have been the the juvenile but they made it into a big one so Maybe this is the teen. And we finally have the alpha, the Brahmine kite. So, I was supposed to do this in gray, but I forgot. But So, he has the black, like shown. I didn't know the eye was surrounded by the blue. I only did, like, that part. So, might as well do some rearranging there after this video. And, yep, we got all that. If you look really, really, really closely, you'll see some... Light blue in there. You probably can't tell because the camera won't focus for some reason. But yeah, this might... This might have been the... If there's a second release of this guy, then this is the first one. I don't know. Next. I did not surround the nestlings because it'll be hard. Here's the amber nestlings. Now this hill, I didn't want it to just kind of like defy gravity. Because that will be silly. Flying raptors. Yeah, these... Even the Balor, I don't think, can fly... He might glide. You never know, but... Yeah. 
Raptors can't fly, except for the Micro Raptor. The Micro Raptor can glide, but they can't fly, which sucks a little bit. But that's because their ancestors used to be flying, but they were feathered, but they lost the ability to fly, which is okay. So anyway, what's really, really cool about this, this is the sitting one, standing and running. I even made the poses for all of them. So here's the gray ones, standing, sitting, running, has the... It's colored because I think the bases come with that color. So this is like the desert, forest, wetland maybe, sitting, standing, running. The running one's always going to be on the hill, by the way. And, yep. The, I like the um, texture I put on here, all the green. And the white nestlings, which were not hard at all to do. So you have like the snow on the top. As you can probably tell by the drumming stores, I don't have... Except his is all white and black. Has all the little stuff on them. Super cute. And here we go with the Eastern Pack. This is a redneck pheasant. As you can see. Has all that to it. And then the red and the teal and all that. You can barely see the tongue. The Microraptor. I call this one a fan's choice. I don't know why. This is a black billed magpie inspiration. So he has like a gray snow and white and black and all that. Now, I didn't put the inspiration on this guy because I don't know the inspiration. Same with this guy. So let me know in the comments if you know the color inspiration to this Future Raptor and this Stanontosaurus. So anyway, this guy has like salmon color. He has black on the tip of his snout. Almost like goldenish color to the toe claws, black, and some more salmon, light pink colors, a little bit of shading there. And the youth, I put young there. So the, this guy, this guy's pretty cool too. He has like a little bit of black and um, blue there, a little bit of some shading and feathers. Love because I did a little lines for that. And He's in like a that kind of position where one of his legs are up. And again, I don't know the name of it. Let me know in the comments if you do. But that's still okay if I don't know. And finally, who owns the nestlings? The amber nestlings belong to Velociraptor. The gray nestlings belong to our Chia Raptor. And I'm like, how is that possible? Because when they have like a blue snout or something, I looked like I looked up what blue footed Bobby nestlings look like and they look like that so what can you do let me know in the comments if it's if it's a different raptor i thought it was sargans it might be sargans but i don't know the black nestlings are balors and the white nestlings are certain at least these also put the inspirations these might be um juveniles except for the amber nestlings but and then the updated trees. So this is the actual one. There's only two raptors here. These two are the same. And instead of putting fans choice, I put that this was the E, W, and E, and W. It's hard to tell because it's blurry. Focus. If it will. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what it is. And they're all sideways because um, I just decided to make them two. These two are not for some reason. But this is the comparison. I told these as fans choice. The Eastern and Western pack. I thought of them as man choice. But they're not fans choice. That's everything. Create a beast. Um, alpha. And that's it. And I get to it as a voice. So there you have it. The books. I am one of a kind for making a set of this. I will probably make more. I will probably do the Ceratopsian series next year. Once I get the talent to draw for like a dinosaurs. I can draw Triceratops, but the frill will look a little bit a little bit weird. But I will probably practice and I'm just gonna work on the table of contents. So hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section but there you have it the fan that made books of botm <laughs>